Hey guys, welcome back to another video and this is going to be a series of modeling tutorials where we will learn 3D modeling for beginners in Maya and today we are going to start with this table so we have uh, three things in our table this top and this middle part and these legs so we'll start with the top and as you can see this is a cylindrical shape so we are going to start with a cylinder And let's increase the radius and uh, decrease the height. We are going to keep the subdivision axis to 16 because we are going to smooth it eventually. So just try to keep your mesh as low poly as you can. Now we need to create this uh, lower part of the top and for that go to face mode and select these faces. So what you can do is just press tab and select these faces. So either you can press ctrl E and then increase the offset or what you can do is press shift and then scale it like this it will do the same thing and again to extrude this you can either press ctrl e and extrude it or you can press shift and drag this down like this So our top is done. Let's add some supporting edges so that we can smooth it. And there is a very easy way to add uh, supporting edges. So what you can do is you can either uh, take this uh, multi cut tool or insert edge loop tool and add edges like this. Or what you can do is just select the edges you need your supporting edges for and then bevel and here you can turn the chamfer off and decrease the fraction and with this you can add supporting edges more precisely and as you can see all these polygons are triangles so we need to convert them in quad polygon so for that you can follow this simple step you can go to edge mode and select the alternate edge same thing down here and you can delete them and now you can see that all these faces are having four vertices. So now our top is finally completed. Let's move on to the middle part. Let's pull this up and we can create this with using curve. But uh, today we are going to use the cylinder. What you can do is you can go to front view and in the view image plane and you can import this reference image here. Now go to front view and we are going to take a cylinder and shape it like this part. So let's take a cylinder and go to the wireframe mode by pressing 4. Let's reduce the radius like this and also the height. Again, we are going to keep the subdivision axis to 16. And we are again going to select these faces. So press tab and select with your mouse. Go to front view again. 
and let's try to make this shape here so scale it with pressing shift and then extrude it something like this then again add some offset and scale let's repeat it and now let's create this curvy shape extrude like this So to create this part, let's extrude it till here and we can add uh, some segments here then shape it like this and for that let's select this object and go to connect tool, select this edge and increase the number of segments like this. Let's start shaping this so go to vertex mode select all these vertices and scale them. So as you can see we need one more segment here so again you can select this edge then press ctrl right click and split it by going to edge ring utilities and now select this edge then scale it like this And for this shape, go to edge mode and select these two edges, then bevel. Increase the fraction and maybe segments. Now again select this edge, split it, go to front view again. And let's scale it to create that curve. Now split this edge and scale it down. Now for these parts we extruded, go to edge mode, select these edges and bevel. Zero point four, I think, should be enough. And our basic shape of this part is done. Let's add some supporting edges and then try to smooth it. So isolate this. And again, as we did in this top, select these edges and bevel decrease the fraction turn the chamfer off and for these parts we can use uh, insert edge loop tool let's add uh, one segment here and one here one for this edge
so we are done with adding the supporting edges now let's select this and press 3 to smooth preview and it looks good let's go to edge mode and again remove all these edges to make them core polygons repeat the same thing here and delete Now select this and let's place it here. If it looks a little bit smaller then what you can do is you can either scale it like this or what you can do is go to deform and select this lattice. and change the division of T to 2 then select the lattice point and drag it like this to remove this lattice select this object go to edit delete by type history And we are almost done with our model. Now we just have these legs. So as you can see these are all identical. So we just need to model one of them and then duplicate. So let's work on that. So go to front view again. And for this we can either use a curve or we can take a box then shape it like this. But for this we are going to take this create polygon tool. So press shift right click and take this create polygon tool. So we are done with tracing this so go to vertex mode and uh, and you can see these two vertices select them and merge them to center something like this and as you can see we have some unattached vertices here so there's a quicker way to connect them what you can do is go to vertex mode and select these two vertices press shift right click and select this connect component so instead of using multi cut to connect these vertices just use connect component and now we can select these vertices and press G to repeat the command so again select vertices and press G and we have some extra vertices let's delete this one and take this one put it here and for this we can use multi cut connect it here so we are done with the shaping our plane so what you can do is you can select this plane and extrude it like this maybe 0 0.4 now let's place it here go to top view and align it
like this. Now isolate this leg and go to edge mode, select these edges. And we are going to add some supporting edge so bevel turn off the chamfer and decrease reflection bring back your model go to top view wireframe mode and as you can see that our pivot is not in the center of the grid so let's press D and X to snap this to the center of the grid so that we can create a duplicate now press shift D and rotate it like this and if you press shift D again then it will create a duplicate with transformation like this so we are done with this table and now what you can do is just select everything and go to edit lead by type history so our table modeling is done i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then you can subscribe to the channel and i'll keep posting more videos like this so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video